Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Knuckles playthrough in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We're still in Marble Garden Zone, this time Act 2 to be more specific. God, I love Knuckles' wall climbing ability. Makes things so much simpler. And uh, this zone, for the most part, is the same, but when we get to a certain area, it's going to change. Because Knuckles likes to take some alternate pathways. I'm a big Sonic uh, collector fan guy, you know. Um, I have a video in, in my channel that's Clint's Video Game Collection, and if you look in it, you know that I am a huge Sonic fan. I got a lot of the games. The things I don't really have are the handhelds. I do own Sonic Advance, but I don't really own anything else. You know, I never owned Advance 2 or Advance 3. I'm still going to try and LP those games, but I've never grown up on them like I did Advance 1. Which, honestly, Advance 1 was a Sonic the Hedgehog 4. You know, that's a good game. Sonic Advance 2, way too many bottomless pits, and Sonic Advance 3, why do I have to have a partner? But, you know, I liked Sonic Advance 1 a lot, and if you haven't played it, by all means, it's a good game. That was the real Sonic 4. <laughs> but I digress. Knuckles can blow through these walls, you don't have to raise the platform and spin into them like you were when you were Sonic. That's always cool. But I own a lot of Sonic games, and I have collected a few new Sonic games since I made that collection video including the Riders games, which I mentioned in Part 1, or uh, Part 2, rather. So I've gotten used to those games, and, you know, I'm a big Sonic fan. I got tons of games that I could LP, believe me. I've played all the main console ones. I haven't played any of the DS or Game Boy Advance ones, though. Oh, I've played the Game Boy Advance ones, but I haven't played the DS. Anyway, oh god, I can't reach this guy. I can't reach his eye, and I can't climb the walls. What the hell, Knuckles? I guess we're stuck. I guess the game's broken. Gee, Sega, why didn't you think of how to design this level? God, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Actually, you have to climb up here to go to Knuckles' alternate pathway. Yeah, for some reason, they don't want us going the way of the... Well, they don't want us fighting the boss that Eggman fought. Or that Eggman was in, or something. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Fucking hate those grasshoppers, by the way. Just like Eggman does, Egg Robo is causing a huge earthquake, so he's making things fall on you. And it's not a big problem here, we just hear a lot of loud noise. But, uh... Eventually, we'll see the ground caving in, and remember, if you get crushed once, you're dead. You're done. Done like dinner. So climb as fast as you can, because if you get crushed, you are dead. What makes this one harder than Sonic's is that it has a lot of stupid contraptions while it's falling. Like the eye, the arrow shooting face, and the blue wheel part. Like, I remember I always got stumped on this a few times when I was a kid, and then I would get crushed because I was always too slow on the draw. Which is, uh, no good. But it's not that bad, obviously. So folks, this is a boss Sonic didn't even fight. The Chain Link Egg Robo Boss. Because Sonic had to fight Eggman in the sky with the help of Tails, and Tails is a much harder fight I'll be showing in an extra video, Knuckles got gets a new, entirely new boss fight. He shoots a chain twice, and then he follows the path of that chain, and you have to jump into him while making sure you don't jump into his flamethrower, because obviously the fire will burn you and whatnot. It can be really hard to know where the chain's going to land. There's no hidden... Like, there's no way to tell where it's going to come from, you know? So, half the time I fight this guy, I always get hit. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know if he's trying to home in on you, but... I don't know how, to, how his strategy works. For all I know, it could be set like Silver Sonic is. From uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But anyway, just stay out of the way of the hooks. When he passes by, jump into him. And you should take out that machine pretty good. Huzzah! And now, folks, you're not going to believe Carnival Night Zone. <laughs> Carnival Night Zone is no longer filled with water like it was uh, in the Sonic playthrough. I imagine this is because Angel Island is no longer on the ocean. It is now flying in the sky again. But still, it's pretty unique. You don't see any water laying around anymore. You'll see pathways that Sonic did go through that were water, and now they're not water, you know. Also, I like this part. <laughs> I always got a kick out of playing that when I was always 
did this level as Knuckles, that little... Because sometimes when you go really fast, you can do a nice little... Just spin right around, it's always awesome. <laughs> And in here, we find... The Sixth Chaos Emerald! And if you're... If you tell me I'm missing uh, special stages in the Knuckles levels, sue me, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist, okay? Well now, folks, we're back at the mini-boss. That level took a minute to get through, so that's kind of shorter than the first one. Than uh, Sonic's level. And this one has the same strategy, you know, you hit him, he opens up, the drill hits him, hit him again, he opens up, drill hits him, rinse and repeat. I don't know if he has any extra abilities or any extra features that make him harder than Sonic's boss fight, but the way I fight him, I never get the chance to find out, so who gives a shit? Just hit him immediately as soon as, as, soon as he starts moving, rinse and repeat, and it's a pretty easy boss fight, what can I say? I always thought he was easy. Maybe there's less blocks now this time, so you're going to fall a lot quicker. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But that's Carnival Night X1. Pretty quick, pretty easy. And now we're in Carnival Night X2! <laughs> and if you thought Act 1 was quick and easy, oh my god, you've seen nothing yet. So this area right here, this was underwater when we were Sonic. This was an underwater area when we were Sonic. And... He had to use the fans to get up to the higher platform, as well as water to help him jump high, but we can't get that high anymore, so now we're taking the Knuckles Detour, shall we say. And the Knuckles Detour is so much shorter and easier, it's kind of sad and pathetic. I, I can't stress enough how quick this level goes by. And you don't have to worry about barrels. Ooh. <laughs> Why do people have so much trouble with the barrels in this level? I seriously don't get it. <laughs> I got it stumped when I was a kid, but that was like one time. I figured it out pretty quickly. Just saying. And I kid you not, that's it. You don't even fight a boss! You don't even fight Egg Robo in Eggman's machine. No, that's it. You get to the Roboticizer in like a minute, because the tubes zoom you across the place so quickly, and you're done. That's it. Carnival Night is over. <laughs> I kid you not. We just went through Carnival Night like it was nothing. Ice Cap Zone starts off in a hidden passageway where Sonic Snow and the Avalanche would have fallen. And now we're back in Sonic's normal Act 1 level. This level's kind of different, but not really. And through here, once again, a special stage, which gets us the 7th Chaos Emerald. Knuckles got all the Chaos Emeralds, folks, and in Part 4, we will be seeing Super Knuckles in action. Not this part, though, because I didn't collect enough rings. Or maybe I didn't want to. I forget. We're gonna find out right now, as we're watching this. <laughs> it's a treat for both of us. The great thing about this, uh, time is that now because you're Knuckles, you can plow through the walls yourself, and you don't actually need the the pillars that Sonic has to push over to uh, get through the walls. Now you can just run into them normally, so this time, you know, just hold the right and you can probably get through most of this. This is a new pathway, per se, for Knuckles, but it leads right back into an old pathway of Sonic's really quickly, so it's just a nice, small detour, you know? <laughs> like, that's it. Now we're back in the Sonic section again. And all that Knuckles alternate pathway does is get you hurt because there's spikes everywhere. Again, see, I shattered the rock. I could just go back in the looping section, but I figured I'll push the block anyway because I don't want to screw it up. You never know, you might accidentally fall and not land where you're supposed to. And this is Ice Cap Act 1's music, because again, in the last... When we did the Sonic playthrough, I spent most of Act 1 as Super Sonic, getting rid of the music. My apologies, deep. But, uh... Now we get to hear the music in, in all of its awesome glory, because I'm not Super Knuckles. And this wall wasn't here before, now it is. <laughs> they want us to go down this pathway, it seems. Because this pathway will completely change Act 2. 
So this time we're fighting the mini boss underground, not above ground. But honestly, this mini boss has not changed that much since Sonic and Tails fought him. Um, obviously, Knuckles cannot hit him with an Insta Shield attack like Sonic can, but you know he still he gets rid of his blocks. You can hit him a few times, then the blocks fall easy to dodge. They fall the same way they did with Sonic and Tails. And he just does this over and over again. It's pretty much the same boss fight. It's not harder like the other boss fights were. So, you know, you know what to do here. It's pretty simple. Just wait for the chunks to get out of the way. And there you go. I think we covered a lot of ground today. <laughs> well, folks, we're going to take on Ice Cap Act 2 in Part 4. See you then.